Good morning. Myself, C. D. Prem Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, going to deliver a content on software project management. In this video, we are going to discuss the concept of activity planning in software project management. As an outline, we are going to discuss the concept of objectives of activity planning, then project schedule. If you take the objectives, in that we are going to discuss the concept of feasibility assessment, resource allocation, detailed costing, motivation and coordination. First, we discuss about the concept of objectives of activity planning. So what is an activity planning? Activity planning is said to be the process of outlining the steps required to achieve a specific goal or objective. It involves identifying a specific activities and tasks that need to be done, determining the resources that are needed to complete them and assigning each and every activities to the appropriate people. Let's see various objectives of activity planning. First, feasibility assessment. Next, resource allocation. Third comes detailed costing. Then, motivation. Finally, coordination. Let's see the concept of feasibility assessment. So under feasibility assessment, let's discuss is the project possible within the required time cycles and resource constraints. So it is not until we have constructed a detailed plan that we can forecast the completion date with any reasonable knowledge of its achievability. Then coming to the resource allocation, what are the various questions that are going to arise? So what are the most effective ways of allocating resources to the project? When should the resources should be available? So the answer comes, the project plan allows us to investigate the relationship between time scales and resource availability. Then comes the detailed costing. So how much will the project cost? And when is that? expenditure likely to take place. So after producing an activity plan and allocating a specific resources, our main aim there is that we can obtain more detailed estimates of cost and their timings. Then coming to the motivation part. So providing the targets and being seen to monitor achievements against the targets that is an effective way of motivating the staff, particularly where they have been involved in setting those targets in the first place. Finally, coordination. It's a very important objective. When does the staff in different departments need to available to work on a particular project and when does the staff need to be transferred between the projects? So the project plan, particularly with large projects involving more than a single project team that provides an effective vehicle for communication and coordination among teams. So coming to the project schedule. So what is a project schedule? So a project schedule is a detailed project plan showing the dates when each activity should start and complete and when and how much of each resources will be required. So once the plan has been refined to this level of detail, we call it as a project schedule. So to create a project schedule, it comprises four important stages. Let's see each and every stage. The first stage is producing the plan. The second comes the risk factors. 
the third allocation of resources then final stage schedule production so we're going to discuss each and every stage one by one in detail so first step that is producing the plan so what are the various uh, steps under the producing the plan so first what are the activities have to be carried out then what's the order to be followed that is the sequence of order in which each activity has to be handled so from this we can construct an ideal activity plan that is a plan of when each activity would ideally be undertaken where resources is not a constraint then coming to the next stage that involves the risk factors so can risk occurs in this activity yes or no then how does a particular activity handle the task then what are the potential problems that can arise in risk handling then coming to the third stage the third stage involves the allocation of resources so how the resources is allocated to specific activities so what is the expected availability of resources then what are the constraints defined for allocating a particular resources then final stage that includes the schedule production so what are the planned start and end dates for each and every activity what are the resources allocated to each activity then you have to explain the detailed project schedule so all this comes under the final stage that is stage that includes the schedule production so far we have covered the objectives of activity planning then the project schedule thank you